G'day. Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm English Gent. And on today's episode, we're going to make a famous Australian dessert. Yeah, so we've been invited to an Australian, I guess, themed barbecue Loosely. <laughs> this afternoon. Justin, our friends Justin and Paul are having a get together with everybody. And uh, yeah, so we decided, or well, Rob decided, <laughs> I was going to have a go at doing some baking Australian style. So. I'm going to take you through how to make lamingtons from start to finish. Let's see how that goes. If you hang around to the end, we may have a bit of a trip announcement as well. So that's going to be exciting. So apparently a lamington is made up of two things. A sponge and what would you say it is? Chocolate? Chocolate icing? I wouldn't call icing, it's just chocolate I'll cover them. Chocolate. So it's chocolate, it's like a chocolate icing um, that you put in um, with the desiccated coconut. So there's two parts to this sort of process. So first of all, you've got the sponge, then you've got the actual coating itself. So ingredients wise, let's have a look. For the sponge cake you'll need, you'll need plain flour or all purpose flour, corn flour or cornstarch, baking powder, Large eggs, preferably, room temperature. Caster sugar, milk, butter, unsalted, preferably. Cocoa powder for the chocolate icing. Then a box of icing or powdered sugar. And then shredded coconut. To start, you want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Celsius if it's fan assisted. Grease your tin, line it with that paper, and then also get a bit of butter on that paper as well to assist. And makes it so when it's rising in the oven, it should then find it easier. Next, you're going to want to sift your flour, corn flour, and baking powder twice into a large mixing bowl, and then put that aside for a bit. In a separate bowl, you're going to start working on the eggs. Now, the eggs will take quite a while. Um, I use an electric whisk and even with that it's going to take a fair few minutes to get it thick and foamy and you're going to want to add the caster sugar and one tablespoon at a time. Keep doing this for anything beyond eight minutes I would say and you'll know the eggs are ready when you can draw a number eight in the top of them, uh, the top of the eggs and it will sort of linger for one or two seconds. As well as your eggs you want to add the milk and butter to a small microwave safe bowl and heat for about 30 seconds or until the butter is completely melted and then just leave it to cool slightly. When your eggs are done, you're then gonna to want to gently sift or add the flour mixture and then pour the warm butter mixture down the side of the bowl and that, so that will sit in the bottom. So it's, and then just keep folding it until it's just combined. One thing I'll say is don't over mix it because this will knock all the air out of the eggs and you'll end up with a flat cake. Once it's all done, add all your mixture to the cake tin and bake for, I'd say for 20 to 25 minutes uh, until the sort of the, the cake basically is a bit springy. So when you press on top of it, it should spring back up and then just leave it to cool completely. While that's cooling, you can then start making the chocolate icing. This is really easy. It's sifting the cocoa powder and icing sugar. You add some melted butter and milk and stir until the chocolate is smooth. Once the cake is all cooled and your chocolate's done, uh, cut the sponge cake into equal amounts, so whether it be rectangle squares, and then you're gonna to start to dip each of the cakes into the chocolate and let the extra chocolate drip off, although this is really messy, and then cover in coconut, and then just transfer to a rack to dry. So we're doing a typical Aussie Barbie. <laughs> Got the lamingtons. <laughs> Let's go see what everyone thinks of them. What's a lemming from there? It's not a lemming. I know that much. Is it easy to make? No. <laughs> yes. So this is a genuine, typical Australian dessert. Australian. Australian. I feel very Australian. Australian. Aren't these kiwi as well? Don't Lam ruin it, Paul. Lam <laughs> no, lamingtons are Australian. The Pabs is a debatable one, but Lamingtons are Australian. Can we try something else? Let's show something. <laughs> Ooh, is it nice? What's that nice? Can I try some now? Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. It's a nice Lamington. Mmm. 
chocolate. Chocolate. Uncle Darren made that. <laughs> <laughs> is, that <laughs> is it delicious? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it? Can I have some more, please? Um, not bad, eh? Mm. <laughs> Are we sharing together? That's very good. Mmm, that's a good lemon cream. <laughs> what does it taste like? What flavours can you taste? Coconut. Coconut? Who else has coconut? Moana. Like Moana, she has coconut too, but I don't think she had lamingtons somehow. She didn't have lamingtons on Motunui. She just had coconuts. Mm -hmm. From what part of Australia? The best part. <laughs> the best part, which it's isn't well. the West Coast. Yeah. So what is what is your what's your evaluation of the uh, Danny? What's your evaluation of Lamington? I can feel a sense of holiday. I am on the beach. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel because it's fresh, so I can feel summer. I can feel the beach. Would you uh, would you like to give me some more before you eat it all? She likes it. She's coming for it. May I have some more, please? Mimi. Can I have some more lamington, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Wow. Wow. Excellent sharing. <laughs> Thank you. Did you do we tell do we tell Uncle Darren, do we give him ten points? Okay. Ten points for the lamingtons. <laughs> what are you getting from your cake that you baked? Your traditional typical relief. <laughs> no, seriously, because it's very fresh. And then there's the coconut, so I can feel summer, beach, yeah. holidays. Even if you know in Australia, summer, summer, winter are a little bit inverted <laughs> compared to the <laughs> compared to the European. The sponge, the sponge is really nice. But I like it. Yeah. I was expecting it to be heavier, like kind of. Well, no, it's, a, it's actually really good. I loved it. It's moist. Yeah, very mo yeah, it's moist. Yeah, moist. It's not dry. It's moist. That's good. It's moist. Yeah. But most of the time, people are not able to do it because they're too much dry. It's supposed to be light and fluffy. Yeah. And so you suffocate like if you don't eat with a, a yogurt or some milk. But this is moist enough. Love it. So a lamington is believed to be named after either Lord Lamington, who served as governor of Queensland from 1896 to 1901. Or his wife, Lady Lamington. Lady Lamington, <laughs> who was also a drag queen at the weekend. <laughs> who performed at Sporties uh, Saturday night. Oh, no, Lady no. Lamington's backup dancer is Deirdre Do, her other drag queen friend. <laughs> so, Justin, as the as the fair dinkum, true blue Aussie Australian at the table, <laughs> of uh, you know, full full Australian breed, <laughs> full, full, full Australian breed. Um, What's your evaluation of Darren's first attempt at the making Lamingtons? I think these are needed for our Australia Day party. Yeah. So we start again? For our Australia so Day. Australian. Australia Day? Sorry, honey. Australia? Australia? <laughs> so, 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 about how you teeth and how you talk? Australia. Great. Thank you. Day. Yeah. Um, it's a celebration every year where we celebrate. They are good. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> we celebrate our convict heritage. Yeah. They're actually yeah. really good. Mm. That's, a, yeah. that's a decent version. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So Irish <laughs> Four. Yes? What is your evaluation of Lamington? You've had Lamington before, right? In Australia. Um, I've only had store bought Lamington before, so... Right. This so is how does this compare to your store bought Lamington? Like, I'll be kind because Darren's sitting right beside me. <laughs> so, um, it was good. I like it. Um, it's very moist. He used the good chocolate, not the cheap kind, which is also a plus. Plenty of coconut. I can tell that a lot of blood, sweat, and stress went into this. So. <laughs> what, um, Do you have no idea? <laughs> what? Okay. What, uh, Desi not desecrated. Desecrated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the desecrated. <laughs> desecrated. Who's that doing? Was that delicious? Yes. Do we go? Ten points. Ten points. Thanks, Uncle Darren and Uncle Rob. 
Uh, yes, we had a great night last night, um, but I thought they could do better. So uh, we, I've just done another batch. And this time um, I've taken a few hints and tips off various parts of Google and froze the sponges before I covered them in the chocolate and coconut. It's still a messy job, but it's a lot easier than it was before. Um, so you basically put them in for either two hours or overnight in the freezer and then they're good to go for when you uh, want to cover them the next day or later on. Um, so yeah, I've spent my bank holiday doing another batch. Fingers crossed these should be good. So this is theoretically your third batch of Lemmingtons, is that right? Uh, yeah, two well, and a half batches. Two and a half, because the first one got halfway through and you threw it in the bin. <laughs> um, and what is your overall evaluation of the experience of making Lemmingtons? They're actually really, they're, uh, making them is really easy. The hard part is actually the covering them with chocolate and it's just a messy job. But as you saw um, earlier, that I basically went, Rob went and looked it up and you said about freezing it. So that is a solution. Freeze your cubes of a sponge and it makes it easier. And it does generally, but even with this, you can see it's still a bit messy and there's lots of chocolate that sort of settles. So uh, yeah, trip announcement. Uh, we've had it in the planning since our Florida trip was canceled yet again for the third time. So we're off to Paris. Yeah, Paris, France. And we're, of course, going to go to Disneyland Paris one year later. Um, and we're staying at somewhere where I'm really excited to stay, which is the brand new Hotel New York Art of Marvel Hotel. So we're going to have a blast there. So yeah, please join us. Um, that, that's going to be our next series it's coming very, very soon. And follow us on social media where we'll be keeping you up to date on our day to day, uh, getting how we're getting on really and what we're doing, because we're really excited. There's going to be lots of things which were open this time that was, wasn't open last year's. Uh, thanks Rob for volunteering me to make these babies. They went down a treat, I think. Yeah, um, they went down well. And these yeah. are quite nice as well. So I'm looking forward to finishing this batch off. Uh, so see us next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, so now you gently fold until this is just combined. How do you fold? I don't know, Darren. You just gently fold. Like a piece of paper? Fold like in half like a piece of paper? I don't know. The instructions just say fold. But this is your recipe. <laughs> Passed down from your mother. Passed down in the famous Google family. <laughs> fold it, fold it. It falls apart. Oh, it's sticking to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Tarred and feathered. I'll be going, eat it. <laughs> Girls, look what Uncle Darren made. Car crash. You could even teach the girls how to do this one day. I think they could probably do it better than I could. The top layer comes off. Hope you like coconut. <laughs> it's five layers of it. <laughs> the lighting is all wrong. You want more lamington? <laughs> really? If only she ate pizza like this. <laughs> if only you ate any meal like this. Anything, yeah. Anything. Shall we all try it? Yeah. They're actually really good. Oh, they're right. yeah.